comes out against Trump. I don't care if they write that. I'm sad that I didn't two years ago, but I can't change that. I'm saying right now that this is something that I know is right, and you guys, I need to be on the right side of history, Kill, and if he killer. doesn't win, then at least I, I, at least I tried. Kill. It really is a big deal to me. I live in Tennessee. I am Christian. That's not what we stand for. I need to do this. I need you to just... I just need you to forgive me for doing it, because I'm doing it. Icon Taylor Swift after she endorsed Kamala Harris after last week's debate. Trump not mincing words. He posted this, quote, I hate Taylor Swift, end quote. The Harris campaign is obviously embracing the endorsement. Uh -oh. I don't know about you, but I'm voting Donald Trump, baby. Yes, in my entire life, I have never seen Libras angry like this. Early morning today, Trump posted this, I hate Taylor Swift. The kind of reactions I've seen on social media, I'm going to show you the videos. But before I do that, former classmate call out Taylor Swift and share a message directly to her TikTok fans. Message for Taylor Swift, 20 years ago, this month, things were different. Back then, I can confidently say she didn't believe in abortion. During that time, while CNT was filming at high school, I was sent home because the school didn't want a pregnant teen to be seen on TV with Taylor. They even moved my lunch period so the crew would not ask questions or create negativity that could affect her future or the school image. In the end, I was denied my high school education so Taylor could pursue her fame. After 20 years of staying silent, I'm finally speaking up. This lady saw what she did in Dawson Kamala with her kind of stand. She decided to speak up. So everybody's getting a good laugh today on Donald Trump posting, I hate Taylor Swift. On the surface, it seems very comical. But I want everybody to realize that this is actually extremely dangerous. You have to remember that whether Donald Trump wants to admit it or not, he surrounds himself by Project 2025 sycophants, including the likes of Laura Loomer. And as they sit here manipulating an elderly narcissist by feeding his ego, they are also the ones giving him suggestions on posting just what he posted today on Taylor Swift. And here is what they are doing. They are now putting tens of millions of young women and little girls in the crosshairs of what is clearly a very intimidating and often violent MAGA movement. That's what they are doing. They are scaring these young girls from wearing their I love Taylor Swift, Swifty gear, t-shirts, and you name it. The same way we as adult Democrats have been intimidated into not wearing our Kamala Harris gear because we are afraid of being accosted. We're being afraid of being threatened. And you think that young girls and little girls can handle that? This is part of Project 2025, is to shift our culture into an evangelical nation. And what better way than to scare millions of little girls and young women to know their place, to not be free and not feel safe to wear their Swifty gear out in public. It's actually very dangerous what he did. And it's really no laughing matter. If you ask me that I should name one man who can put the whole media to talk, Trump will be first. With a single tweet, it is causing a lot of talks on social media. It happened on Sunday. Believe me, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you will see videos like never before, partaking to this. I'm telling you the truth. I don't get the point why Libras are, are so triggered. It is normal for me to tell you I don't like you. Yeah. At first, Trump made it clear on 
a different uh, segment like i'm not really a fan of taylor swift it is very normal trump it, is putting out this main tweet sometimes it is important i don't see why they are now attributing it to oh he's scary he's trying to do the project you know and this lady is still putting out this fake i don't know if these people's brain uh she's talking about the project 2025 i don't see the link here Oh, so she is like this. She's scared to put up. Oh, I'm voting for Kamala. It's insane. Feel free to express yourself. She's so impressed with Kamala Harris' selection of her running mate, Tim Walls, and especially what he stands for. Because let's be honest, we don't have any bigger issues that we have to focus on in this country, do we? So let's just talk about the fact that Taylor Swift just endorsed Kamala Harris. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty appalled by this being a huge Swifty myself. Being a huge fan of her music, her talent, her hard work ethic, all the amazing things she's accomplished. I'll still be a Swifty. I'm not going to not be a Swifty because I can still like someone and not agree with everything about that person. After all, we live in a free country, right? But I am quite appalled by her recent decision to endorse Kamala Harris, who literally supports the murder of innocent babies, among many other things that are against my personal convictions as a follower of Jesus Christ. This is something that I know is right, and you guys, I need to be on the right side of history, and if he doesn't win, then at least I, I, at least I try. And I'm done with you. Yeah, his Taylor Swift endorsement just backfired. New analysis shows that Taylor Swift presidential endorsement will actually lead to more vote going to Trump than Kamala. According to your gov post, 8% of voters are more likely to support the Democratic ticket due to Swift influence, while 20% said they are less likely to vote Trump's opening because of it. However, 66% of respondents said her endorsement won't impact the decision okay this one's for all the swifties like me who are conservative look at this taylor swift's endorsement turned more voters away from kamala harris than it did attract i also think it's interesting that after she posted hey everyone get out and vote do your research that over three hundred thousand people visited the website that doesn't mean that's how many people registered but it is clear to me that taylor swift is finally understanding that her entire fan base isn't just liberal women who are going to be voting for kamala harris and this proves it last week i just posted a video saying how Kamala Harris and Taylor Swift's endorsement actually doesn't mean as much as you think it does. Celebrity endorsements mean nothing how they used to. It's not even going to move the needle if you ask me. And if you ask me, I think this is just motivating more Taylor Swift fans to start looking at the economy, look at your grocery bill, look how much your gas is, and realize Taylor Swift is still a billionaire. So do you really think that she has your best interest in mind? The answer is no. This is your sign to vote for Trump. Yes, when you take a look at how people are reacting to this, it is a clear sign for her to realize mm, she needed to think well before taking that decision. No one is performing worse than her. No one's performing worse than her among blacks, among Hispanics, the worst performing Democrat in modern history among those demographics, worst performing polling wise among Jews. She is losing key factions of the Democratic base. Muslim voters, she's at under 50, she's at 52% in the latest care poll among black Muslims. She is not doing well. Uh, for the same basket of. So people can understand exactly what is going on. And you look at polls on X when they've done, I think Musk might have done one. I think there's a few of them. It's like 73 percent said they're voting for Trump. For Trump. Okay, yeah. Kamala, oh wait, she, go, she went for the handshake. Incredible display of the awkward tension that happens when your son is dating a biracial girl and you meet her parents for the first time. <laughs> they are angry that Kamala was not supposed to greet him. I've seen videos these people are putting out. Like, why would she do that? This is why I say, like, we shouldn't demean Trump supporters. We shouldn't call them no. names. <laughs> Trump has come in the spin room, just so you know, that has happened. Newly reported by NBC News, Vice President Kamala Harris has spoken recently and repeatedly with former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. She could not do in four years. It is insane to think that... You really want Trump to lose this election, right? No, um, no, no. you don't, no. really? So you have to have a controlled border, a secure border? If you are over 18, please register to vote for something else that's very important for me. Look at this. 
She's only up by 15 points. Caught Taylor Swift as though I have that power. I'm allowed to criticize Taylor Swift. Disconnected from the interest. Well, 